Howdy once again, it's Tubal Cain at your service, your YouTube shop teacher. And no, this is not a repeat, you have not seen this before, but it is a continuation of what I showed you last week about garage sailing. I returned to the scene of the crime and bought yet uh, another $95 worth of stuff that I do not need, but I enjoy doing it. Uh, I'm getting a lot of criticism, but a lot of people like it. Now, uh, it was a two-day, actually a four-day garage sale. Two days last week and then two days this weekend. However, I missed the Saturday one because I was on my annual tractor ride while driving my Moline uh, 445. Had a ball, got a little bit too much sun, had great meal, great camaraderie. There were 70 of us, 70 tractors and all, so it was a big group. But as you can see, I've got another load uh, they were, I was the only one there at 8 o'clock in the morning, and I'm not sure anybody else was going to show. Everything was marked down, and if I even picked it up, you know, they cut the price in one-fourth. So there's a lot of stuff here that I don't need. Now, uh, another thing, I beg your pardon on this, but I often say this is no good, I'm throwing it away, but I do like to give things. I am a member of Midwest Tool Club, and... Uh, we do give tools away, uh, we, we donate tools to the club, and then they, when they get enough of them, they put them in a container and send them down to Haiti and different places like that, the claw hammers and carpentry tools. So there's a lot of other things I give away. I, my good friend is uh, uh, in charge of Habitat of, uh, for Humanity around here, but he just told me two days ago he had to go to some kind of meeting, and it was all about OSHA, and OSHA has handcuffed them. The, the regulations are just, I don't care who you are, I, or I'm not even going to talk about that, but he who governs least governs best. Who said that? And why aren't we following those great words? So watch me now uh, as I unpack this. The back end of the car, again, is, is, is sagging because there's some bigger items in here. Some of them you will recognize from when you watch the first auction in the background. And I'll give you just a little bit of a clip of this that I took with my phone. That's always bad footage. I know it is. But as I told you, millions of people, <laughs> producers, make their videos with their phones in the dark, moving them as much as possible. And have you noticed that in my videos that my neighbors watch me very closely with binoculars, and the second I start filming, they start mowing. All right. Get crabby like a train man. Hi Dave, hope you're watching. All right, let's get started. I'll get everything out on the ground, which will be kind of a job here. They help me load. I know I'm Gavin, but you guys like it and you know it. Please tell other people about my video. Oh, <laughs> at the garage sale, they said that some people showed up yesterday, on Saturday, that had been sent by me. They, of course, these people didn't know me from Adam, but I kind of explained what I was doing then and took just a, just a little bit of footage, but it was, it's, it's never very good and the sound is non-existent. Even now I'm a little bit away from the microphone, so watch my many other videos. It's a really a mess here. I'm in the garage and uh, I don't have the mess cleaned up from last week, I've got to be honest with you. So Some of this stuff I might sell that I don't, don't need, but if I get big enough offers. Otherwise I don't like the mess. But $95 wasted this week and what was it last week? I forgot. The one. 30 or 40, so. All right, here we go. Don't worry, I didn't put you in the video. You want to open it? They had a whole pile of stuff that was $1, so I just went through there. I left about half of it, but 
Okay, there's a, uh, you know what this is, a bender. I think there's another one. Must have got mixed up. What brand is that? Uh, Imperial Eastman. For tubing, you know what that is, I think. I hate these, I don't know why I, I guess we shoved things together, but here's a couple of them. That's nigh. Yeah, nigh. I don't like those. I got some though. They remind me of something would be used in a gang fight. Now, why they would let this go for a dollar, I don't know. I've got many big wrenches already, but kind of dirty. American made. Now, this is, I think, brand new. Still got a tag on it, but it's got that horrible discoloration that I dread, and it is. A Stanley, I don't know if this is going to, uh, and, and it is so protected. Remember I showed you one of these? See, that's brand new. A dead blow. Uh, it's a dead blow. Wow. So if this doesn't disintegrate on me, I'm quite happy. It's got that sticky feeling. Now, anyway, dead blow. Uh, Oh, somebody dropped this and bent it. Not. This is indeed a Pexto. Curved snips for cutting circles. I, I think I got some of those, but I like unusual tin snips, and I don't know why. This was a, I think this is a green leaf for those big split dies. Uh, but the, he had a pile of junk. He said, take anything you want. I'll, I don't know why I took it. All right. Then on the table, there was... I don't need number stamps. She put these in a bag for me. She's real nice. What a nice woman. And man. This was $10. There's something else yet. $10. Uh, and I said, well, you got to throw the lead in. So that was sitting there. So there's a five pound block of lead. Let me grab the other item. So what have we got here? We got, I think, a brand new set of eighth inch Young's I think unused but you never know here's a brand new set originally she had that marked eight but again this was all ten look in good shape what's this also eighth inch numerals what is in ye old tavern? Must be pretty old as a glass bottle. Larger stamps, not a complete set, probably junk. What good are they if you don't have the whole alphabet? So I think that was a buy, even though I didn't need it. All right, here's another batch uh, as I unload. Now, just a minute ago, I showed you this Imperial Eastman, and it's a half inch. Well, here's the other one, and it's a three-eighths, also Imperial Eastman. I think is of the highest quality. And, you know, I don't really like these. Uh-oh. All right. I'm, I would not have taken this. This is not a genuine. I think I paid a dollar for it. Hate it. Hate it. But, let's see. I, then I grab this one. We'll see if this is a genuine. Yeah, genuine vice scripts. Okay. So I got cheated on that one. But my fault for not being observant. So we're back on the dollar table. So um, there's a soft face hammer. I only needed a rawhide one that's pretty well beat. And then as I was walking away, she said, don't you want that big hammer? And I said, no. And she says, uh, a dollar. I said, ah. I said, I can't even swing that thing. And she says, 50 cents. And I went, finally, I'm there. Sold. Sold. Well, I didn't want this box at all. And it certainly wasn't 30 bucks. Uh, it was a dollar. And I said, well, I'll, I'll take it if you throw in these rods. I don't even know what these are. But there's about 10, looks like 3 8 rods. I hope they're not hardened, but we'll see. So, give my grandson the haircut. It's a whisk. 
I, I really all I want here is if I don't have enough Allen wrenches. I do like these T handles, but I've got a, a zillion of them. There's a regular one. Oh, I didn't see this. There's a little uh, die cast. That's no good, but it might have a die that is usable. And somebody put, looks like they put a round die in a hex holder, but maybe they're supposed to do that. I don't think there's anything. You know, there's a center punch, Dasco. Oh, there are some other things. Oh, star drill. We don't use those anymore since they built the railroad. Hmm. I didn't even see those. I don't use a chisel very often anyway. Oh, I know. That's, and I, that appears to be off of a cylinder, uh, a gas cylinder of some kind. For scrap, uh, regular, uh, what is that, a D, uh, removes water, I think, from your airline. Some fittings. Two dollars and sixty-five cents, and oh, there's another one of those. A regulator. Use new oil, no oil. I think that's high enough pressure. Yeah, yeah that's for oxygen. I don't know why they had that fitting on. Not a good box. I just couldn't resist it. Always fun to look through these boxes. There's a brand new Union shovel. For three dollars. Sure has a long handle on it though. I guess you don't want to be too close to your work. And then I, don't ask me why I got this. That I hate swinging an axe and this uh, double bitted means it's even twice the work. But you know it's appears to have never been used and usually the handles, yeah it's been used but not much. Usually the handles are, are ruined right here. So I got a double bitted axe like Paul Bunyan. All right, my grandson Jordan, he's getting big, and he walked in just as I was talking about that axe, and he laid claim to it instantly because he's a bit of an outdoorsman. So, and he's big enough now where he can swing that thing. So as long as he doesn't hurt himself, that, uh, that you know, these people, some of these people take my things as fast as I can get them. I'm glad Jordan just showed up because I need a hand unloading some of the heavy stuff. All right, in last week's video. Some observant guys saw this drill press sitting on the floor. It was marked $25. Well, today, notice that it's marked down to $5. And they said, you want that? And I said, not really. And I said, there's no chuck key. Well, then she dug around and found the chuck key. So, you know, I got umpteen drill presses. It would need a lot of cleanup, but it is a craftsman. But it carries the Dunlap label, to me, is a, the kiss of death. But it's got a motor on it. I didn't try it yet. Maybe it works. And uh, no belt. So that's a half inch Jacobs chuck. So, you know, maybe that's not bad. Uh, clean that up and give it to Jordan. It's a table mount. But it is heavy. That's back when they made them heavy because Jordan just helped me unload this. I couldn't lift it by myself. So there we are. And, you know what? It's not too bad because I know I just made fun of the Dunlap name because I've told many of you that I suffer from Dunlap disease. I think we talked about that, so I won't repeat it. But it's got four, you don't see this too often, with the four knobs. But here we got one, boy, that, that's beat up, and that one's cracked. So they're, they're old enough, I think they've deteriorated with age. But I might use this motor on that filing machine that I bought. I, I still been, I've been looking for a motor, so maybe for five bucks I got a motor. You know, uh, I don't know why I bought this as a dollar, not ten. Everything was cheap today because they're going out of business. But And this is empty, but that's a pyrene fire extinguisher. Remember when there was one of those on every school bus hung right next to the driver's seat? I guess that's why I got it. Just, just, but I might scrap that for brass if it, I don't know. Okay. Oh, and there's another nice Dasco chisel for somebody that doesn't want to be too close to their work. And the seat clamps were a dollar each. And most of them are Jorgensen's, really, which are woodworking clamps, and they're 
six inch, six inch. That's an adjustable. And some of these cheaper ones have a bit of a bend to them. Can you see that? But they're easy enough to straight, straighten. Uh, Jorgensen, four inch. Anyway, there were nine of them that I picked through. That one just says Malleable on it, four inch. So I got plenty of C-clamps. You know, I like to dedicate C-clamps like a vice grip. It's just to fix something. I leave the clamp on there. There's clamps all over the beams of this garage. So I took these out of a box, the box I just showed you, and then later on she said, we'll take the rest of them. And because I had picked through them, they'll be up here in a minute, but it was about a dollar for the, for the rest of them. But these are the good ones, dollar a piece. But originally marked at five the first day. Some of you saw this in last week's video, and you know what? It, they thought it was a Hegner. I cannot find the name on it for the life of me, other than on the motor. It's a German name, but there's where the tag would have gone. You see a little sticky there. If anyone can identify this, let me know, and uh, tell me if $5 was too much. And there is a label five bucks there's a label but it's all about the blades not not the brand so I don't know and it, it does work let's turn it on switch doesn't work right. I'm already sorry I bought it. But there it is, a little scroll saw. That'd be good for the grandkids. You can't get cut too bad on these. You know, it's not like a bandsaw. And it's so much better than a jigsaw, but let me know if it was worth five bucks. I don't know if it's a homemade stand. It's not a bad stand. You know what? I, I don't know if you can tell or not, but that motor runs on the drill press and quiet and smooth, but there's no switch on it. And it looked like it's been wired by Bubba. Well, then for ten bucks, it's marked twenty-five. I paid ten, which is way too much. But it's got the miter gauge. It's a cheap, one of the cheap little craftsman table saws. I don't have a table saw. I used to have them, but every once in a while I need to rip something so that it'll be handy for this, small enough to where I can move it out of the way, take it out in the driveway. I don't like dust in my garage anymore. That's why I got rid of most of my. Uh, you know how cheap these are, but. Believe it or not, they do the job sometimes. First of all, I forgot to mention that the saw does work. I had them plug it in. And so does this Makita that was 10 bucks on a short stand for short people, I guess. Shorter than me even, but it runs fine. Thank you for watching my videos and uh, leave me some comments, kind comments. Remember, as my mother said, be ye kind one to another and gentle hearted. There is the key, and you know what, that's one of those safety keys, isn't it? I've never seen one exactly like that, that'll kick out for safety purposes. But it's loose right there, matter of fact, it's too loose. Let trek. Well, this was 50 cents, uh, but it is a good, what they call contractor's grade of Stanley, but it's a high tension, I've talked about high tension hacksaw frames and how good they are compared to cheap ones. Now, I had them put it together a, a package deal. It was a dollar for whatever sockets are still on that, and there's some S&K sockets there, and uh, what do we got? A Craftsman, a S&K. There's two worthless sizes for me, anyway. Uh, another S&K, another S&K. I, like, I always liked S&K. This was a dollar but it's a fuller I know it's worthless but it's a good one to keep on a tractor or, or something where you don't really care about it and you can take a chance of it walking away and in this box now this was the box that had all of the C-clamps in it originally I picked out the good ones then later she said well will you take the rest of them for a dollar so these were all a dollar there's a flaring tool uh, that would have been a nice one and I don't believe it's broken but it's Somebody welded something on there, but that looks like it's a Proto or an Armstrong or something good. In fact, there 
But yeah, there's an Armstrong, so it looks like it's an Armstrong. Armstrong and Proto are excellent quality sequins, really are. There's one I don't care two hoops about. Pony. That's a Jorgensen, I think. The little ones are always kind of useful. They look kind of old and rusty. More C clamps than I could use in a lifetime. What the is that? That's Armstrong. I started to make fun of these. These two are Armstrong. But, huh. I'll be darned. Looks like it's bent, I'm not sure. So, got plenty of seat lamps. Just a couple more things to show you. Don't get excited. I neither paid $10 nor is it a Milwaukee electric tool. Heavy duty. It's just an empty box that I threw a few things in. I do, of course, like the Crestaloid. That was a dollar. Ten-incher. And that was that was a dollar also. These were sold separately. I, no, 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 no. That was a dollar. One dollar. Remember, I had one of those the other day too. And then this. Originally, I thought that this was one of these. And never mind that. It was one dollar. All the hammers today were one dollar. But that's. I like to call it a prospector's tool, but actually it's for a brick bricklayer or something like that, mason. Uh, for a dollar, an extremely nice brass hammer in good condition. It is used, but not abused. A one dollar plum, I think brand new. No marks on it at all. What am I going to do with that? But I like that stuff. Just when I'm starting to get my garage under control here. Now, you know what this is. Is that a Greenlee? Got the thrust bear? Yeah, it's a Greenlee. Looks like about a one inch. You know what that is. Put it in the comments. Here, for no, 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 not four, one. These are all, I was hesitant about buying them, and they are used, but they are... Cleveland brand, I believe. Wait, that's a Uniflute. Well, that's a that's a Cleveland. I don't know about the other ones. Neighbors are making noise again. They know I'm filming. Okay, that completes this video, this tour of my garage sale. Return to the scene of the crime. I hope you liked it. I hope you don't take it as a bragging session. Uh, and I hope you're not abusive in the comments, but uh, uh, appreciate your watching. Continue watching. I got a lot of videos coming up. The South Bend is already set up here for a job that you'll see in a day or two. Or I will film in a day or two. I'm not sure just when you'll see it. So This is Tubal Cain saying I'll see you in my new videos. Next videos. So long for now. I interrupt this video to show you several things. You know, I was rather talking up this nice Stanley hammer. Well, I set it down on another bench. I come back 15 minutes later, and guess what? So, you know, the, these hammers... You saw me do that in another video. It was a blue point, but... They're using that cheap plastic on all of them, so a little disappointed. I'm out a dollar. And then I went to put a blade in this contractor's grade, and it is missing some part right here, so that's trash. But one final thing I neglected to show you, and that is this. And she just insisted that I buy this, even though I, well, I do know what it is, but it's a pass load. Is that sure what? I don't know if that's the same model, but there it is in all its glory. Oop, I just dropped the charger, or not the charger, the power pack or whatever it is.
Oh, there. I don't know if this shoots staples or, or what. I'm kind of scared of these. I never have used one. I guess that... Oh, that's a battery. So there's a battery that goes in where? Right here. And then some other unit here. I don't know much about these. That's the fuel cell. Okay, it needs both. All right, whether or not it works, I don't know, but I'm sure there's somebody out there that uh, would like that, so. And I don't know what happened to that battery charger I had last week. I think that's already gone. All right. That's really the last thing, and I, and I probably shouldn't have bought that. Now that the video is over and uh, the excitement is over, the garage sale is over, the party is over. I have mild depression like you do on a Christmas day, you know, when all the presents are open and you got a mess and there's some things that you didn't really like and you don't know what to do with. So just as I get my garage semi-clean and organized, uh, I've got more stuff to deal with and my shelves are full already. But boy did I have a good time and I hope you had a good time watching this video.